Hi, this is Jed with MathFix, the video lessons that help fix your math problems. This is a definition video on exponents. So we're going to talk about three different things. Well, first of all, what are exponents? Secondly, why do we need exponents? And thirdly, we're going to talk about some real world examples of how you use how you use exponents. Of course, you're going to need it in this course you're taking, uh, but you're also going to use it in future courses, other math courses, physics courses, and chemistry courses. So the first thing, what are our exponents? So the way you write them is there's always a base and an exponent, or some people call that exponent a power. So when, you, when you're working with them, you always write the base out times uh, the same base number as many times as the exponent. So let's do a quick example. Let's say two to the fourth power. So two is the base and four is your exponent. So the way we write that is two times two times two times two, and that equals 16. So two to the fourth power is equal to 16. So two to the fourth is actually a pretty easy way to write out two times two times two times two. In other examples I'm gonna show you in a few minutes, you're gonna see why that's really important. So the second part I was gonna to talk to you about is why do we need exponents? Well, we need exponents to help us deal with really small and really big numbers. And we also need them to help us add, subtract, multiply, and divide those really small and really big numbers. Now, when I grew up, I really loved studying atoms and I really loved studying the stars. And when you're talking about atoms and stars, you need to describe things with really small and really big numbers. So with, let's take, for example, the hydrogen atom. The hydrogen atom, maybe you don't know this, but it's in almost everything. It's in water, that's H2O. It's also in, in planets, it's in the stars, it's all over the place. So when you look at the hydrogen atom itself, let's take a look at the diameter. It's actually 5.29 times 10 to the negative 11th meters. That's a huge number. When you write it out, that's 11 zeros and that's to the negative side. So you can see just by this example that writing out 5.2 times 10 to the negative 11 is a lot easier than write out, writing out all those zeros. So in this case, the base is 10 and the exponent is negative 11. Okay, I let's look at that. another example. This one's out in the stars with big numbers. So we're gonna use exponents to express a really large number. So let's look at the distance, the average distance, most people call between the Earth and our own star, the Sun. So on average, it's about 93 million miles. So when you, can, when you write that down, it's 93 plus six zeros after it, but you can also write that down as 93 times 10 to the sixth or 9.3 times 10 to the seventh. So it saves a lot of time. In this, in this example, the base number is 10, and the exponent is seven when it's 9.3 times 10 to the seventh. I hope you understand that one. It really helps you, helps you deal with example big number. Is a Google. Now, a Google, watch how you spell it, is G-O-O-G-O-L. It represents a really big number, and it's actually one with 100 zeros after it. And you can express that using a base and exponent. And the way you do that is the base is 10, and the exponent would be 100. So it's so much easier than writing out all those zeros. 10 to 100, that's a Google. So I hope you, I hope you that. see that exponents will help you save time writing out incredibly small or incredibly large numbers. And, and see my lessons, please, and you can get an understanding of how to add, subtract, and multiply and divide really large exponents. So thank you for stopping by and, and listening to my, my definitions video. And please subscribe to my channel.